Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at 7 tips for the latest legendary upgrade called Shogun for Colonel Korn in Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. So for those of you who don't know, this is a new upgrade that is available to unlock through the Valen Brains prize map and is the first upgrade that makes significant changes to a character's loadout, basically adding in variants like in Garden Warfare 2. Now quite a few of these tips are from EAPVZ Mario who is one of the devs at PopCap but I have added a few of my own as well. As usual just before we begin remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway let's get started. Right so we're going to start off by focusing on one of the biggest changes that the Shogun upgrade gives and this is this shield. So tip number one is an obvious one but unlike both Citron and Super Brains' shield, with Colonel Korn's shield you can actually shoot your primary weapon as well as having the shield activated, giving you protection but without compromising on your attack. The most likely reason for this is that Colonel Korn's shield is much smaller and has less health than both Super Brains and Citrons. Anyway that brings us to tip number two, so because of the shield being much smaller and flatter than other shields in the game, as well as it making you move slower, you are quite vulnerable from the other three sides of Colonel Korn's body. So with this in mind you want to try and keep your enemies in front of you at all times when using the shield, giving you as much protection as possible. Tip number three is also relating to the limited protection the shield provides. As you can see, Colonel Korn's shield only really protects the top half of his body, leaving the lower section still vulnerable to attacks. So to combat this issue, you are going to want to use the good old combat strategy of taking the high ground. It's over Anakin! I have the high ground! By having a height advantage over your enemy, it means that your lower body is protected by whatever object is in the way, a rock for example, whilst the shield covers the top half and thus giving you optimum protection. Also because the Shogun upgrade turns Colonel Korn's primary weapon into a semi-automatic, long range engagements like this suit the playstyle better. But of course you can be aggressive and successful with this class, it's just trickier. So tip number four is about the amount of damage the shield can withstand and it's actually more than you think. So according to EA Mario the shield itself has 75 health. However even if the shield has only one point of health remaining it will still absorb all incoming damage from a single projectile. Meaning the shield at full health can block two fully charged shots from a dead beard spyglass for example. So now that we've talked about the shield's health, tip number five is about the regeneration of the shield. Now this applies to all shields in the game, but it's useful to understand that Colonel Korn's shield is able to recharge whilst you are sprinting and or in combat, unlike health regeneration where there is a delay. The shield will recharge slower than your actual health, but it doesn't matter on the situation. It will always recharge when you are not using it. Moving on to tip 6 and we're actually going to talk about a different ability for a change and that is Shook Shot. So this one can apply to just regular Colonel Corn, but I thought it was worth mentioning. So Shook Shot not only does a hell of a lot of damage, but when you use the ability your primary weapon is automatically reloaded. So to get the most out of the ability you need to shoot the majority of your clip to allow the ability to reload for you. Next we'll look at Butter Beacon, so Colonel Korn's Butter Beacon ability does two things, it highlights an area with a radar effect showing zombies positions through walls etc and it also gives Colonel Korn a 25% damage increase to any enemy within the radius. So most of you may have known that this damage increase works on his primary weapon but you may not have known that this also applies to all abilities as well. So to get the most damage from Shook Shot or Husk Hop always throw down Butter Beacon first. So the final tip for this video is about the other perks to use with the Shogun upgrade. So one of the biggest disadvantages with Shogun is that it uses 5 of your 7 available perk points, so there aren't many options for you to choose from. So these might be obvious choices but I would either use Rapid Cob which gives you a faster reload time or use Fearless to aid health regeneration when near multiple enemies. Now I believe you have access to the Fearless perk from rank 1 with Korn so if you haven't unlocked Rapid Cob I would recommend Fearless but I personally think Rapid Cob is better. Anyway guys that's about it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, let me know what your favourite tip was in the comments below, but other than that remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Ok thanks guys, bye. 